In this video, we're going to look at how to find the percent of a given value using multiplication. And to do that, we need to know this formula. The whole times the percent equals the part. Here's an example of when we would use this formula. At Washington High School, 25% of the 850 students are freshmen. How many freshmen are at Washington High School? So the two numbers that are given here, obviously the 24 is your percent. And when you're working with these kind of problems, you need to determine what each number represents. So the 850, you need to determine is that the whole or is that the part. So we've got Washington High School, 24% of the 850 students are freshmen. So there's 850 students at the entire high school, and 24% of those students are freshmen. So in this case, the 850 represents the whole population of the high school. We're trying to find out how many freshmen are at the high school, so we're trying to find out what part of the population uh, are freshmen. So using this formula, we're going to take the whole, which is 850, times the percent, which is 24 percent, and that's going to give us the part of the school that's freshmen. So let's just say that equals the number of freshmen, which is the part. So all we have left to do is calculate 24% of 850. Now if you're using a, a calculator, let's pull up a calculator here. We, we'll do it both ways. We'll do it with and without a calculator. If you're using a calculator, then what you're going to want to do is punch in 850. Oops, I lost my calculator. We'll pull that right back up. Times 24%, but you have to change this percent into a decimal. So your decimal is currently located at the far right hand side because this is a whole number, 24%. So you're going to move it two places to the left and that will give you 0 0.24. So 24% 24 is 24 per 100, 24 out of 100, which is as a decimal 24 one hundredths and that will give you your freshman. So the key when you're doing this, one of the keys, is you have to change your percents into decimals before you punch them into your calculator. 850 times 0.24 equals 204. So that tells me I have 204 equals the number of freshmen. Does this answer make sense? We should always think to ourselves, you know, does this seem reasonable? Well, you've got 850 students. 24% is very close to 25%. And if you have a whole pie here, 25% would be one quarter of the pie. So it should be pretty close to 850 divided by 4. 800 divided by 4 is 200. So that's pretty close. I think that's a good estimate, 204. Always look at your answer and see if it makes sense. If you forget to move your decimal and you take 850 times 24, you're going to get a huge number. And then using your common sense, you can look at that and go, wait a minute, I, I must have made a mistake, and, and go back and fix your mistake. So always make sure your answer makes sense. Now, if you didn't have access to a calculator or weren't allowed to use a calculator to solve this problem, then you would simply have to do you know, your long multiplication, 850 times 0.24, and just do this out. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. That's 32 plus 2 is 34. Add a 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, add, carry the 1. So now, in order to place your decimal, you need to count how many places in your original numbers are to the right of the decimal, and there's two of those, the 4 and the 2, so you're going to move your decimal two places here and come up with your final answer of 204, which we know is the answer. So the steps are to take, if you don't know the part, you're going to take your whole times your percent, and that's going to give you your part. Make sure you move your decimal, and then just calculate it either by long multiplication or by using a calculator. Let's try another example. Let's see about this one. This is a common way that people get paid, sometimes in addition to their regular salaries and sometimes not. Sam earned uh, an 8% commission on all sales. That should probably be an N right there. And 8% commission. 
we'll put it in there so we don't get our English people upset. Sam earned an 8% commission on all sales. How much commission does he earn on $600 in sales? If you think you know how to do that, why don't you pause the video and give it a try and then start it up when you're, when you're ready. All right, so the $600 is his sales. That's the total or the whole amount that he sold. So we're going to multiply that by the percent times 8% to find the part that he earns in commission. That will be his commission. Now you have to move your decimal on 8%. So what will the decimal equivalent of 8% be? Move it twice. It's right here, so we're going to move it twice. We're going to have to put a zero in there to take that place. So that's going to give us 0 0.08. Now I always put this first zero right here to the left of the decimal just to really highlight the fact that there's a decimal there. But this zero is not necessary. If you just have 0 0.08, that's fine. Okay, so now we need to take 600 times 0 0.08. And if you have a calculator, you can just punch that in. Otherwise, I'm going to multiply this. 0, 0, and 8 times 6 is 48. Now, I don't really have to do this next multiplication with this 0. It's not going to change the answer. I'm just going to have a bunch of zeros. If you want to do it, you can, but you're just going to have a bunch of zeros, and it's not going to change anything. So we have two places to the right of the decimal, so we're going to move this decimal two places and come up with 48. Whenever you're doing a story problem, you should label your answer. So $48 is the commission that he earns. Let's try one more. And again, you should try this one uh, on your own first and see if you can get it. And then we'll go through it. The tax rate in a state, some state, is 6.3%. How much tax must be paid on a car that costs $22,500? All right, give that a try. Well, the whole cost of the car is $22,500. And we need to pay a 6.3% tax rate. So the whole times the percent is... 22,500 times 6.3% and that's going to tell us how much tax we have to pay. So in this example you already have a decimal in your percent. I mean you always have the decimal there. If it's not written it's on the far right hand side but in this case we can see it. So we're going to move that decimal two places once around the six. One more time we're going to have to add a zero in there on our next line. So we're going to take 22,500 times 0 0.063 and that will tell us how much tax we have to pay. Let's use the calculator for this one. 22,500 times 0 0.063 equals looks like 1,417.5 1,417.5 Now in this case we're talking about tax which is going to be money so since you're talking about money, you should make it look like money, which means you really should add a zero here so that your final answer is $1,417.50. Well, I hope that helps. Remember this formula, the whole times the percent equals the part. We're going to be using it later when we know different things. In these examples, we were given the whole and the percent, and we had to calculate the part. In future examples, we're going to be looking at problems where we know the whole and the part and we need to determine the percent and also we're going to be looking at problems where we know the percent and the part and we need to determine the whole. So we're going to be using this formula a lot. It's a formula that you really will see a lot uh, and you will use it in your real life sometimes when you don't even know it. Um, you can see by these examples that percents are a very important part of how we communicate data and how we communicate numbers and how we deal with taxes and um, sales and all kinds of uh, common things that occur in our life.